everyone! Welcome to another video of my prom series. I hope you are enjoying it. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about which dresses suit which body shapes. If you are currently looking for a dress or you're going to be looking for a dress in the next few years, this might be really handy because everyone tries on loads of different styles of dresses and everyone has the style that suits them best. However, I am going to throw out there, if you see a dress that you really like on you and it doesn't correlate to what I've said, still get the dress. Do not by any means let this video put you off or let you narrow down your choices. Still try everything on, this is just a rough little guide. And I'm going to be talking about dresses for the five most common body shapes, which are rectangle, inverted triangle, hourglass, rounded and pear. No matter what shape you are, you will find the perfect dress to make you feel confident, I promise you. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So first of all, aside from the body shapes, obviously you're either tall or you're short. I would say that generally tall girls tend to go for longer dresses purely because it's an occasion, it's a prom dress and most people just want to go long. On the other hand, for short girls, I would say either go for a short dress, embrace your shortness, go for a blingy pair of heels or go for a long dress with a 20-80 split. So 20% of the dress is your top half and the other 80% is the bottom half. This will give the illusion of longer legs, it will make you look taller. You might be wearing heels anyway, but I think proportion wise this style of dress can really elongate your figure. So the first body shape is rectangle. Again, I would say a 20-80 split really works well for this type of figure. If you can find a dress that cinches you in at the waist and is a little bit poofy on the bottom, I don't know if there's an actual term for a poofy dress, I just call it a poofy dress, but a dress which ties you in and has a lot of volume at the bottom is really going to highlight your figure. Another option for the rectangle body shape is two pieces. I think this can look amazing. It can sort of break up your body. You could go for a patterned top half, have a little bit of belly showing, and you could go for a plain silky bottom half. I think that would look amazing. But with this figure, you're not restricted with the style of dress. You could go long, you could go short, you could go tight, you could go poofy. <laughs> Just whatever you feel comfortable in really. The next body shape is inverted triangle. So this is where you're quite top heavy. I would say for this shape the best style of dress is to go plain on the top, maybe have a waistband of diamantes or patterned, something like that. And then if you're feeling brave enough, go for a patterned bottom. I think this would probably even out the focus of your dress. Or if you weren't feeling a pattern, you could just go for a voluminous bottom. So again, a poofy dress, purely just to distract away from the heavy top a little bit. But this figure is perfect for accentuating your shoulders. I think with the right dress, broad shoulders can look so classy and elegant. So I think maybe having a dress with a halter neck or showing your shoulders would look so lovely. The next body shape is hourglass. And I think for this body shape, the most flattering type of dress is a figure hugging dress. I honestly wish I could pull these off. But I think something really tight fitted, maybe with a split up the leg. Or you could go for one that's tight around the bum and then flows out onto the floor. That can look so pretty. Or on the other hand, you could also go for one that pulls in at the waist really to accentuate that hourglass and then flows out at the bottom. I think because the hourglass figure is quite equal on the top and the bottom, you kind of want to go for an asymmetrical dress. So maybe something patterned on the top, plain on the bottom, or plain on the top, patterned on the bottom. I just think if the whole thing was patterned, it could look very busy. So I think to really highlight the fact that you have both features, either put emphasis on the top or the bottom. I just think something with a bit of sparkle on top and then maybe fading into a more plain design looks so lovely on an hourglass. So the next body shape is rounded and I think this style of dress is very similar to that of the rectangle body shape. Again, I think a 2080 split would work perfect for you. Maybe one that pulls you in just under your boobs and then flows out onto the bottom or you could go for a poofy dress if you want to feel like a princess. But I suggest going for a lot of detail around your chest area, whether that is fancy jewellery or diamantes on your dress or high neck dresses. I think especially a high neck dress looks so elegant on any body shape. And the final body shape I'm going to be talking about today is the pear shape. So this is when you're smaller on top and bigger on the bottom, so you might have wide hips. But I think the perfect style of dress for this shape is to make the focus of your dress the top half, purely because this will help to even you out. So you could go for a detailed neckline, or again, a nice bit of jewellery. But I think really accentuating your small waist before your large hips makes it look amazing. You could look for cutouts in the side of your dress, and I also think that skater dresses look amazing with this figure. Whether you are tall or short, I think short skater dresses look amazing on a pear shape because that's literally the shape of the dress. It just fits like a glove. So if you are looking for a prom dress or you will be in the future, I hope this video has been really helpful for you. I personally really struggled with what style of dress to buy. So I think a video like this would have really been helpful to me, which is why I wanted to make it for you guys. I hope that no matter what your shape is, you will find your dream dress. I know you will all look amazing at your prom. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you had your prom? Is it coming up soon? Is it coming up in the future? I would love to know. 
alone. Please do subscribe to see my future videos, but for now, that is pretty much all I have to say. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!